The following video is going to give an introduction to flowchart symbols and essentially a fl how a flowchart is used for presenting an algorithm graphically. Okay, flowcharts are used to illustrate algorithms in order to aid in the visualization of a program. Flowcharts are to be read from top to bottom and left to right in order to follow the algorithm's logic from start to finish. So we're going to have a bit of an outline of the symbols used in flowcharts. So to begin with, we have a terminator and the terminator represents the start and finish of a program and it specifically usually has the key words in them of begin and end highlighting those areas of the program. Next, we have a process and a process represents the different instructions occurring within a program. So we have multiple processes usually happening in our program okay, in order to do its operations on whatever data or whatever it's being made for. Next, we have the arrow, and this indicates the flow of the algorithm. Okay, the algorithm even has a specific sequence, okay, but there are parts in these algorithms where there may be selection and that the arrows have to represent where it splits off down different parts, or repetition, where the arrows are used to illustrate a loop. After this, we have a decision, okay, and these are used to split flowcharts okay sequence down the multiple paths so it is used in these same control structures of selection and repetition okay within these actual diamonds usually has maybe a question okay or an actual case statement appearing okay and this highlights the beginning of the different branching paths we have this rhombus shape okay or parallelogram Okay, used for representing data entry and data display. So whenever the user using the program is either entering data into the program or having data outputted and displayed to them, this symbol is used here. And finally, we have the sub-programming. Okay, sub is similar to a process okay, in that it's a rectangle, but we can also see within it, it's got two extra lines. And this is basically referencing another program within the program. Okay, so we highlight the subprogram without going into much detail of what the subprogram is doing. That may be its own flowchart, okay, and is drawn separately. So I hope this gives you an understanding of the different flowchart symbols used in order to represent programs graphically. Okay, essentially we have a terminator for beginning and ending our program, a process for representing the different instructions within a program, an arrow showing the direction of the flow of the program, a decision used for splitting paths uh, down different programs for selection and repetition, the parallelogram for input and output of data for the user, and a sub-program which references another actual program.